it's pretty simple, pretty basic, and it's because uh, it's um, it's a, basically a poo tank. I'm not going to swear when I don't have to swear, but it's a poo tank through and through, and not very competitive, not very valid. It's going to be one of those forgotten tanks that oh yeah, you remember the setter? Did you play the setter? But it's it kind of the tank kind of symbolizes how evident the, the differences are between PC and console They're always tell, telling us you know console and PC is two different games it's two different games and we're always like yeah whatever you know but um, but this tank really doesn't work on console maybe it works on PC much better if you guys ever watch replays of sorry the dog was kind of scratching at the door there uh, if you ever watch PC players on YouTube You'll notice, like on Prokhorovka, Malinovka, etc., etc., a lot more bush, a lot more bush, you know, much more so than on console, which is very favourable to um, tanks with high camel values, TDs, you know, lights, etc., etc. But we don't have that much bush. Maybe, you know, possibly maybe when uh, 360 gets kicked off. That'll change. I haven't got a clue. Um, but this tank, it um, the, the majority of our maps basically do not favour um, tanks that are dependent on you know camo and stuff like that. And this tank is kind of designed with that in mind. You know, it's designed to be in a bush. It's designed to be a scout. It's designed to be a lookout. It's not designed to brawl. It's because it, it sucks at it, you know, it doesn't have anything going for it and um, The positives are this it has high pen on the upgrade <laughs> gun, you know 180 which is really good Pardon me, can I burp? This is a very tacky uh, review. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry but um, Yeah, it did this the, the ace in the pocket. What what is it the ace in the hole? the trick up its sleeve what does it have you know the E25 has this the E100 has that the 2790 has you know each and every tank has something up its sleeve and th this tank the only thing it has up its sleeve is 180 pen with the upgraded gun which is fantastic for a tier 7 light you know because it's penetration for tier 7 lights runs around I don't know like 150-ish something like that and 180 is like tier 8 light tank penetration it even beats some um, tier 8 light tanks when it comes to penetration so it has that you're kind of you're not guaranteed to pen but you it's kind of one less thing to worry about and um, but that's about it you know that's about it with uh, it still has this god awful reload, uh, not god awful, but really long reload for uh, a tiny amount of damage, alpha damage, which I think it was 135, and that's m tiny, that's minuscule, and uh, it, ju it just doesn't, it's not very competitive basically. Maybe it's designed not to be competitive, maybe it's designed to be a pure scout, and that's it, and nothing else, but. Eh, you know, eh, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. A DPM of five to ten shells uh, per minute. So you you're getting DPM of one thousand three hundred, and I mean it just sucks balls basically. Sorry, I, I there you go. I swore, you know. <laughs> uh, and the uh, accuracy is just meh. The aim time is pretty decent, you know, you do get gun depression, 10 degrees, but, you know, these are all kind of, it's kind of like, you know, it's fluff, it's not the, the main show, it's not, it needs to bring much more to the table than it currently is, basically, because it's not bringing a lot to the table. Um, the shell velocity kind of sucks, uh, you know, I think it was around eight, eight to 900, so you, there's a lot more lead, and then you go into a, quite a substantial reload with hardly any alpha, and you're kind of scratching your head, well, what am I doing here, you know, <laughs> well, I'm not doing that much, you know? 
<laughs> the speed is, ah, you know, it's like 58. But I, I honestly, I don't get the power to weight ratio because when on paper, I think it was like 27, just under 30. And um, I d honestly, I don't get that because it doesn't feel like it. It feels, it feels so sluggish. It really does. It feels like, um, what is it, the 13, just a, a touch better than the 1357. And, um, yeah, not very good. Not, not a very good tank. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So that's about it. Once you stock the gun, is there. I think it's 20k to get the upgraded engine, then it's 40k to get the, you know, the top gun. And, you know, the, the gun works in the beginning stages of the game, but towards the end stages of the game, where the lights are most dangerous, you know, most tricky, the, this, you know, a T-71 will wipe the floor with this thing, just destroy it. Um, yeah, Type 62... I keep on thinking of the Type 62, honestly, because um, I recently got that and I'm kind of always comparing it to, and I know they're two very different machines and all that, but yeah, I would wipe the floor with my Type 62 coming up against the Sela. So it's most definitely a poo tank. It honestly it doesn't translate well from. PC to here, and it's. I know it's got the ammo buff and all of that jazz, and I know it's already got a stinky reputation on the PC, as do most of the you know the British lights due to ammo capacity. So they have buffed that, but still, this this tank stinks. It's a poo tank, and we're on proc. Uh, <laughs> this is my replay. This is my gold mastery. Ace Mastery replay on Prokhorovka and um, we're not top tier this is a tier 8, tier 7, tier 6 game and we're going to be trying to do the scout thing you know like I normally do and uh, I, I played it very carefully uh, basically due to the limitations of the tank and because I really wanted to get my gold mastery my ace mastery because uh, i wasn't i wouldn't say i'm not enjoying the tank uh we're about 50k in and you need a, i think it was 100k to get the tier uh, the tier eight and um but look, look 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 how it stops there and that's because i used the handbrake because <laughs> it, it does not like me using the handbrake it's kind of like i was like why why'd you stop <laughs> it does not it's just uh what, what the hell <laughs> but yeah i really wanted to get my ace mastery you know this is the first time getting proc first time getting a, a decent scouting map uh like i mentioned before you know it's all uh, maps not suited to scouts so i wanted you know this to be the one and it's um uh, you can see how it turns it turns uh, such a uh, makes such a large circle when it turns and it's look there there we go again it's the same thing it's, and uh for i don't know for 30 to uh, horsepower to sun ratio it, it doesn't it should be doing performing much better than that basically in my opinion uh, when you compare it to other tanks most definitely but uh, you know I'm not a game designer tank designer and all that jazz I might be just talking out my bun while I don't know so anyhow but that's my two cents that's my opinion and all of that jazz um, yeah so like I said we're halfway through grinding this thing I forgot to mention this is going to be demonstrated now uh, but we are playing a ge on an online game, so I get that. So there's lag and all of that jazz. But the accuracy of the gun on the move is really... It, it's pretty bad. It's not god-awful when you compare it to the other... I was kind of looking at the other Tier 7 and Tier 8 li lights. But it, it's kind of up there as far as crappy accuracy on the move. And you see, I'm um, trying... And that's more kind of like lag. 
and because uh, I, I, I think I placed these shots pretty decently. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like lag. It's, uh, I'm pointing the gun here, and the shell's going over there. So yeah, war game, you fix, you fix your bloody game. <laughs> you owe me two shots, two pens there. So, in my personal opinion, I thought those shots were good. Um, for those of you that don't like this, uh, turn away because I'm going to be loading premium. I'm going to be um, jumping all over this KV-5 over here, this solar KV-5, and um, seeing how well we do. It kind of works uh, in its favour that it's a tall tank, so to speak. It's not that tall, but it's sort of kind of tall, and I think it kind of like helps with me penning the KV-5. And um, uh, it's such a awkward circle of death you know when you do the circle of death you, you just gotta keep your tank basically on the opposite side from where the enemy tank is basically pointing and um, yeah there's such an awkward uh, you know because the acceleration just, do it just doesn't feel as good as it should be you know trying to place those shots I know that, yeah, yeah, I get lucky there and I do track him so that kind of helps. Yeah, when I shoot him flush into the side I pen, I'm trying to do the RTD to catch, yep, got it, side, and just the, the mobility of the thing, it just feels like, it feels very off. I was expecting much better basically, so do get him here in the end. So, I but it, it is kind of sloppy gameplay in my personal opinion this because this is what happens when I don't enjoy the tank. I, I mean I got that, I, I penned the Shashka, I was using premium, the Shashka is a pretty big tank and weakly armoured so, you know, so was at a quite a distance and but you know Leo I'm not worried about him We've still got 552 hit points he's distracted by everybody pouncing on him um, yeah it's it's very odd that we're like six years into the game and they released these um, mediocre tanks into the game you know who knows, you know, the tier 8, the tier 9, tier 10, I've yet to experience them, so, this is only tier 7, not everything can be OP, and to the max, and, oh, this is a crazy tank, this is one mean machine, you know, but, it's just, I'm worried that, you know, the next tank will be, eh, and the next tank will be, eh, and, um, yeah, the, all the op -ness, sorry, <laughs> seems to be these days reserved for premium tanks is what i'm saying you know the, the op tanks these days just they all seem to be the premiums and um the tech tree tanks all seem to be <laughs> anyhow hope you guys enjoyed my review of the setter it's a poo tank take it easy i do some gestures.